When I design merchandise for To Die For Daily, I try to create things that I want to wear or items that I want in my home, like this extremely hot Prince William mug. Or check out our cute new Black Sheep Have More Fun Princess Diana tea. There's the I Thought I Was Going to Marry Prince William top and many more. Rep the Royals by shopping to dieforedaily.com today. Love the British monarchy. You've come to the right place. Welcome to the To Die For Daily podcast with Kinsey Schofield. Take it away, Kinsey. TMZ's latest conspiracy pandering headline is factually inaccurate. I was so fired up that I had to get on here and talk to you about it immediately. It says Kate Middleton's Mother's Day photo yanked. Agencies say it may be fake, which is not true. And headlines like this just fire up the worst parts of the internet. The accusation is manipulation, which, if for the record, was one of TMZ's deadly sins, we'd actually never get a Kardashian photo. Rewind to Mothering Sunday. The Prince and Princess of Wales posted a deliciously sweet photo of the princess and her tiny crew. This was to be a big moment for royal watchers who have eagerly awaited any type of official proof of life photo from the palace after Catherine's top secret abdominal surgery and recovery, which people like me have been aggressively defending on television daily for the last two months. The caption read, thank you for your kind wishes and continue support over the last two months. Wishing everyone a happy Mother's Day. C, with photo cred to everyone's dream Instagram boyfriend, the Prince of Wales, 2024. Cue an explosive comment section pointing out some very unfortunate Photoshop fails. Let's put on our tinfoil hats and break them down. I actually meant to grab tinfoil. I forgot it. I'm disappointed in myself. Number one, what happened to Princess Charlotte's sleeve? It just disappears into her skirt. That was red flag number one. Prince Louis' fingers and sweater. I'm actually not really sold on either one of these graphic concerns. I think, as we saw in the Christmas card, he does funny things with his fingers. Maybe he thinks he's Spider-Man. I don't know. But what is a little odd is the base of the home near Louis' knee seems to be smeared or separate. Um, I've seen a couple people complaining about the green plants in the background. It's chilly outside. That's a dumb argument to me. They can afford the best yard people. They probably water their grass with holy water. This one doesn't bother me either. And I just overheard someone say something about the Princess of Wales's boots. I have not personally seen that myself, but I'm going to go check it out after this conversation. The most critical error to me here is Princess Charlotte's sleeve. Also, just look at her hair and skirt. It looks as if someone has cut her out and simply pasted her on top of this image. Was she too far to the right in the photo? Did they need to scoot her over? Was one photo of her from the same session better than another? How did this happen? Well, we'll get into that in a second. Otherwise, I think it's a precious family photo. But first, let's discuss the consequences. Shortly after the photo of the Princess of Wales was posted on social media and published on the front of newspapers all over the world, multiple major photo agencies issued a kill notice. I know, it sounds intense, which doesn't help with the speculation already surrounding the palace. But what it means is that people like the Associated Press and Getty Images issued this kill notice to media outlets explaining that they had each deleted the Mother's Day image of the Princess of Wales and her children from their libraries out of fear of manipulation or Photoshop. The AP said, at closer inspection, it appears that the source has manipulated the image. The source being Kensington Palace, or if you want to get very specific, based on the Instagram photo creds, Prince William. I need clarification, but it is my understanding that the palace has some type of post-Princess Diana slash anti-paparazzi agreement where they share photos with the media along with sharing photos with us on social media. Translation, nothing would hit, hit the gram that wasn't also directly distributed to media or press with the objective of keeping the paparazzi at bay. So was this some horrible social media strategy gone awry? I mean, they say you're only as strong as your weakest team member. So, you know, I couldn't wait to point the finger at KP's so social media guru and 
what I discovered was that media darling David Watkins, who the Prince and Princess of Wales savagely secured from Prince Harry and Meghan Markle in 2020, left the royal fold at the end of 2023. Um, he was called the Sussex's secret weapon back in 2020. Watkins was behind their record-breaking Sussex Royal Instagram account. From July of 2019 to April of 2020, he worked for Harry and Meghan. Later that month, Watkins was recruited by the Prince and Princess of Wales. He was their digital communications lead until September 2022. Then in October, he began a position with the Earthshot Prize as a senior digital producer. He left Earthshot in December and started in March. The social media strategist is now working for an athletic company called On. So are the Waleses in that weird transition period of trying to find good help now that he's gone? Are they, God forbid, managing things on their own? Do they have any protocols or procedures in place where multiple eyeballs need to see a post before it goes live? I've seen multiple possible scenarios to explain this major fail. I had one photographer and graphic designer tell me that some cameras take a series of pictures in rapid succession and create a composite that combines multiple angles. We all know that Prince William isn't the photographer in the family. Maybe it was user error. Or was it simply the chaos of trying to wrangle multiple children in for one photo so a copy and paste of different facial expressions, you know, might occur to try to create the best photo, a la Kardashian? For instance, each child is photographed at the same time, same sitting, everybody's there, but someone tries to drop just the highlights on top of one image, creating errors in edges, you know, Kim Kardashian has become notorious for this on her social media, and it is something you see happen quite often today. Am I trying to justify it? No. I think this is such a major fail. The secondhand embarrassment is real. If their ultimate objective truly was protecting the Princess of Wales, they have increased the speculation around her health or the state of her marriage immensely. I would put this in the PR nightmare category. And I think that they've made all of this even worse, if you can believe it. I think even worse by not quickly coming out and explaining, hey, we passed this on to our digital person. They tried to touch it up and made some mistakes. We apologize for the confusion. End of story. This would not be this would not have exploded the way that it did. And while I was thrilled to see a beautiful new photo of the Princess of Wales, and I believe it is her and I believe that all, they were all together together in one sitting for this picture. I am having a hard time continuing to defend some of this strange behavior. And really quickly, one last note, I think I was most annoyed by this. I've seen all the headlines about the Princess of Wales not wearing her wedding ring. And I just wanted to remind you that Princess Diana loved to joke about the fact that that ring was a complete menace. Um, you know, she actually had to own two of her famous black sheep sweaters. The first one she sent back to Warm and Wonderful after her chunky sapphire got stuck in it and tore a giant hole. She was devastated. She wrote them this handwritten letter and said, can you please fix this? Or, you know, can I get a can I get it repaired or can I get a replacement? Um, and they sent her a brand new one. Additionally, you're often advised not to wear jewelry in medical centers. We don't know what kind of medical equipment is being used on her at home or what kind of medication that she could be taking that could be making her swollen. Has she lost weight due to her circumstances? I am not concerned by the lack of ring, but I am starting to get concerned in general. And it's harder for me to just kind of defend some of the mishaps happening lately. Uh, but I am curious to know what you what you think. Do you think Kensington Palace should respond to the controversy? Uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe. I'm going to bed now. It's midnight. <laughs>